build a clear picture by growing your own class diagrams. In part two we got everything installed and running, now it's time to start making class diagrams. There are umpteen ways to create a new class diagram, but the quickest is right click on a folder such as Source Main Java and select Agile J New Class Diagram. Select Just Make an Empty Class Diagram, then click Finish. Congratulations, you have now created your first class diagram. At the moment it's empty, which isn't much use, so let's add some classes. From the Package Explorer, expand the package org apache commons codec language bm. Drag the classes rule and phonetic engine and drop them on the class diagram. You'll see that the two classes are now added. Time for a couple of quick troubleshooting tips. Firstly, if as you try to drag in a class you find that Eclipse immediately opens a Java source code editor, then you just need to deselect the link with editor button which you'll find at the top of the package explorer. Now you'll find that drag and drop works as expected. Secondly, an issue which often comes up to do with setting project source folders, if a Java file has a solid J icon you will be able to drag it to a class diagram with no problems. If, however, the symbol is a hollow J, then this is Eclipse's way of indicating that the source file is not in the source path. This needs to be rectified as it will cause problems with more than just Agile J. Eclipse won't be able to build your project properly and you'll be missing code completion suggestions and error markers. Find the source folder, right click and select build path, use as source folder. Now you'll see that the J symbols have turned solid and you can drag in the Java files successfully. As well as Java files, you can in fact drag in almost anything from the package explorer. Let's add a whole package. Grab the org apache commons codec net package and drop it on the canvas. You'll see that all of the classes it contains are added. Let's add a class we don't have the source code for. Expand rt.jar and navigate to java.lang.object. Grab it and drop it on the canvas. You'll see the object gets added. You can also add a whole jar file if it's not too large. Expand the JRE system library and drag in mlibwrapper underscore jai dot jar. All of its classes get added. Whatever you drag in will be searched recursively for classes to add to the class diagram. A message on the status bar tells you the outcome every time you add classes. Note that inner classes cannot be dragged in, nor can fields or methods. Only outermost classes can be added to a class diagram. You can also use the Eclipse Type Chooser dialog to add classes. Right click anywhere on empty space and select the Add Types menu option. From there you can pick any class to add. You can also use the Package Explorer pop-up menu and select Agile J Add to Current Class Diagram. If you attempt to add a large number of classes in one go, then you will be presented with the Adding Multiple Types dialog. For example, Again, found under the JRE system library, drag in the mrjtoolkit.jar. A dialog box with two lists side by side opens up. This dialog is really just a safety net because you cannot tell how many classes will be added. You can select and move classes either way between the two lists and you can even use filters to select classes. More coming up on filters in part seven. Class diagram files have the extension .ajsv and you can create them anywhere in the Eclipse workspace. You can relocate them or rename them without any adverse effects. You can create class diagram files in amongst the source folders, or if you prefer to keep them in a separate folder, then you can set something called the home folder. Right click on the project and select new folder. Call the new folder class diagrams. Right click on it and select agile J set as class diagram home. A message box confirms that all new class diagrams will be created in this folder by default. So that's how to make an empty class diagram and pull in classes. However, most of the time you want a class diagram of a whole package or an inheritance tree or a dependency graph and we can make these directly in one step. Right click on the package org apache commons codec bm. Select Agile J new class diagram. 
click finish. The new class diagram file, which is now created in the class diagrams folder, has a name which matches the package it was created from and contains all the classes in that package. Let's just do one more example, this time with inheritance. In the package explorer, expand the package org apache commons codec binary, right click on base n codec, select agile j new class diagram and click finish. The result is a class diagram showing the inheritance relationship. So that's given us a couple of examples of how to make pre-populated class diagrams. There are also ways to invite related classes to come and join the party. Right click in the package explorer and select agile j new class diagram. Select just make an empty class diagram. Right click on the canvas and select add types. Type base n codec input stream, select it and click OK. The context menu options on the class title let you add subtypes, supertypes and dependencies, inwards and outwards and directly and recursively. Select add subtypes direct, two subtypes are added. You can also add any type you can see, for example base n codec input stream has a constructor and it takes an input stream as its first parameter. Right click on input stream and select add input stream. Input stream gets added. So now that we've seen all the different ways to discover and add related classes to an existing class diagram, let's take a look at some of the different ways to browse and navigate your way around. See you in part four.